Hello and welcome to another edition of An English Guy Watching Wrestling. I'm the English Guy, I'm Nick. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. I really do appreciate it. And in this one, we're going to be reviewing the Impact episode from the 16th, put it right, I think. Yes, 16th. <laughs> 16th of February 2021. So with that being said, let's get into it. And before I get into it, actually, I should have said this, it was a very, very good show overall. So let's get into it. Opening match was TJP defending the X Division Championship against Josh Alexander, who became the number one contender at No Surrender this past weekend. And when I heard, when I saw Josh winning the match, I really liked the idea of it because I thought him versus TJP is just going to be a wrestling clinic. This was legitimately an early contender for match of the year. It was absolutely outstanding from both men. And yes, we got a wrestling clinic from both men, but more than that, high flying, high impact wrestling, no pun intended, uh, just terrific stuff from both men. And I've said it before, Josh Alexander is pound for pound, perhaps the best wrestler in impact wrestling right now. TJP can go, We've seen him do this, but this was out and just incredible. I could not get enough of this match. And <laughs> and I give credit which you. I think Josh Alexander getting more of a singles push in impact is a great thing after, of course, the North have gone their separate ways. This was, was flawless in terms of wrestling. And I really, really, really wouldn't mind seeing these two go at it again. It was stunning. And if you get a chance, watch this. If you want a pure, great wrestling match, you can't go wrong with this. It was a work of art from both men. And I thought this was an incredible way to open the match and open the show. Um, main event worthy match in the opening match. This was fantastic. You have to see it. That's an early contender for match of the year for me. I absolutely loved it. So, definite thumbs up. So, I can't say much more than that. Amazing. I don't manage to fit another word in. <laughs> okay. Next match was a fatal four-way match again in next division with Woody Mack, Davari, Suicide, and Trey Miguel. Now, I'm really liking next division in the minute because of what they're doing with the stars. And this was a superb match again. And again, a fantastic example of what next division is all about. Trey Miguel didn't win the match, and I think he was the right choice because I think it will be him competing for the Exhibition Championship in the future. And I'd love to see that because I'm a massive Trey Miguel fan. He's awesome beyond words. But so are all other three men in this match. I mean, all three men put on a fantastic wrestling match, to be honest. And the Exhibition at the moment is just shining so brightly. And it's always been a, an anchor of Impact Wrestling. And it continues to be. And this was a, another great example of what the Exhibition is all about. A superb wrestling from all four men. And... I'm going to say it's about Woody Mack. He is fast becoming one of my favourite wrestlers to watch in the next division, bar none. Um, because of his size, he's powerful, but boy, he moves like a cruiserweight, and he moves superbly. I thought this was a superb match. Great, a great advertisement said for the next division, so definite thumbs up for all four of these men. We've been on a great, great, great match. So, there you go. And the next match was Hernandez versus Matt, Car Matt, sorry, Matt Cardona. Now, of course, Brian Myers and Matt Cardona are having a little bit of a feud right now in Impact Wrestling because, of course, both wrestled in WWE. And basically, there's been a bit of resentment from Brian Myers saying, you know, you weren't there for me when I wasn't in the WWE. And it's been a very unique feud, kind of like bringing old heat, old heat into a new promotion. This company, actually, or company in this case, isn't something I've seen for a while. And I kind of like to see it here. And... Hernandez is Brian Myers' hired gun. And basically, it was a short match, to be honest, but I think the right person went over. I think Matt Cardona winning the match was the right call. And I think it's going to be a matter of time before we see Myers and Cardona go one-on-one. -on -one. Possibly next week, who knows? Uh, next pay-per-view, well, sorry, next Impact Special. Not too sure when it is, to be honest, because I don't think they've advertised one yet. But, good short match, enjoyable, and I think, as I said, Matt Cardona winning was the right call, so... Thumbs up. And of course, Hernandez has been there for so long, but again, reliable as they come. So, what up? Next match was Reno Scum, who I've not seen in Impact Wrestling for some time. 
Uh, I like Bruno Scrum. I think they were a good tag team. And the first back match in Impact, I think, about at least a month. And I missed them, to be honest, because I like Bruno Scrum. But it's good seeing it back against the debuting, or debuting, debuting, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> anyway, debut of Fing Juice. Now, Fing Juice, if you know who they are, are from New Japan Pro Wrestling. They, say David Finley, son of Fit Finley, and of course Juice Robinson, who I have a lot of respect for, and I love Juice Robinson because he's great. He's such a unique character, and this was a good tag match. I think it was great as a great example of what Impact has started to do, opening the doors for New Japan talent to come in and show what they can do. And I think this is a good selection because they're such a good tag team. That if you've never seen Fin Juice, they're a tag team that kind of like likes to pay tribute to the old tag team by doing tag team manoeuvres. And they won the match with power and glory, if you remember then, so then, their old finishing move, which I thought was such a great tribute. Of course, they did the double drop kick, a lot of different manoeuvres that was paying tribute. And it's kind of cool to see it. And I really like to see more Finn Juice. Now, Juice, I know a lot of Finn and Finney, I don't know that much about, but obviously I accept the fact he is um, Finney's son. But this was a good tag match. And, Hopefully with more and more opportunities for Finn Juice to show what they can do. So I'm all for it. I've been a big New Japan fan. Seeing these guys in Impact Wrestling is just showing what wrestling companies are coming. They can come together, work together. Great example. So yeah, for a thumbs up. So it brings on to the next match. To know what that should was is the fair. Now, this is a continuation on from what happened in No Surrender when it was Triple XL and Tenille Dashwood. No, wait a minute. No, it's not. Um, I misspoke. But anyway, <laughs> one on one match between Tilly Dashwood and Nevaeh. And Nevaeh going it alone to the ring. Obviously, she's part of a tag team with Jessica Havoc, but not here. She went to the ring by herself. And before the match, maybe a little one or two, I mean, thinking Nevaeh wants to do it by herself, maybe going by herself. I don't know. After, obviously, Jessica Havoc and Nevaeh failed to win the Impact Tag Team Women's Championships and no surrender. Um, I think this was a very good women's match, to be fair. Um, not the longest women's match I've seen them have in Impact Wrestling, but I think Tenille Dashwood winning was also the right call to kind of like put a bit of um, an impact, say, added layer to the story of Nevaeh possibly going alone, but obviously Jessica Havoc not out there to watch her back. Caleb with a K was there with uh, Tenille Dashwood, as he always is, as is his uh, a photographer, I think the best way to call it. Uh, but, you know, it was a good short match. I enjoyed this one. So, the women's division in Impact Racing right now is just so good to watch. So, keep it going. Thumbs up. And which brings us to the main event. Old school rules match between Moose and Tommy Dreamer. Now, I cannot help but give all the credit in the world to Tommy Dreamer. After dislocating his finger legitimately with his match against Rich Swan in, in all seriousness, another match in the contender at the Impact World title match at No Surrender. Um, and the fact is, he wrestled Moose because after the match between uh, the match between Tommy Dreamer and Rich Swan, Moose came out and they ended up both men because he is next in line for the shot at the Impact World title. So, of course, Tommy Dreamer wanted to get a bit of revenge. Rich Swan was not at Impact, but Tommy Dreamer was. And as I've said it before and I'll say it again, Tommy Dreamer is a, a warrior. Beyond, beyond any measure and Moose is getting better and better and Moose was really really good to begin with and he's getting better as time goes on I like this match a great deal I really did and Moose winning was the right call even though Tommy Dreamer had just come off one of the best matches that I've ever seen him have this was the right call and it made sense for Moose to keep, keep building momentum when he comes to his match with Rich Swan, which I think a lot of fans want to see I personally want to see it because I think those two are going to tear it up and if there's anything that's going to come out of this, Tommy Dreamer is just, you know, continuing on to a great momentum and great point in his career. I've just gone 50 years old, but he's still going. That's Tommy Dreamer for you. And this was a very good main event. Not as much hardcore moves as I anticipated, but sometimes you don't need them. And that's exactly what this match served very, very well. So it served this match very, very well, but you get the general idea. <laughs> but that tops off what was a superb episode of Impact this week, to be honest. Um, I said before, Impact this year has just been on a roll and is continuing. And I think it's just going to get better and better. Week by week, their shows have been great. 
pay-per-views have been great, the specials have been great, and I love to see it because I've been an Impact fan for a long, long time, and to cover it yeah, at this stage is just a joy. And after a cracking pay-per-view no surrender, they follow up a cracking episode of Impact, so you can't say much further than that really, so definite thumbs up to Impact Wrestling and everyone there for doing what they're doing. You know, don't stop, keep the momentum going, so that's it. So, and that being said, that is it for this review. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will be back very, very soon with another video. Until that time, take care and goodbye.